thanks for coming back for another video. I'm just going to show you how to start your very first compost. Simple, easy, things around the house that you can use as veggie scraps, old fruit that's gone off in the uh, fridge. So that's throwing them in the trash. Make some soil for yourself for later on. So I like to start any compost with a brown. Now we use coconut husk because it's got a lot of microbes in it. And also it makes the compost really fluffy. So it's not that dense, you know, water just drains off and so it soaks in. It's good moisture control. So, as you can see, I've done one um, block. So this does two cubic meters. You don't have to use a lot. We've got the new maize tumbler. So um, I'll do a review on this in three months time to let you know how it goes. So first you're putting your browns. Because we've got so much greens, so anything green is nitrous, it's going to heat up, and browns is leaves, uh, sticks, wood. Like that. It's really good for worms too. If you want to get into worms, get, um, get some coconut husks for their bedding. It gives them a good start. Spills a little bit. And moist. Okay. So, as you can see, we put our browns in. Now, we just had some rotten fruit and vegetables in the fridge that normally, before we started doing compost, we would go straight in the trash. We've actually reduced our trash by 45%. You might not think that's much for a family of three. It's a lot. So let's chuck these in. Close the lid. Oh. Now I've got it started. I'm going to use some compost accelerator. Then you can get this from any local Bunnings. It's a, it's a local product, it's like tumbleweed. They do a lot of products in that. I do highly re recommend it because it does speed up process, but not only that, it eliminates odors. If the compost is smelling, can you saw some of this? Or just add some more brown. Anything is, with smell means that there's too much moisture within the compost. This stuff's amazing. So you use one tablespoon or just a couple of shakes. <coughs> Close the lid and roll it. And this is the other great thing about the maize tumbler is that there's no handles, there's no gears or anything that can stop or stuff up. You just grab it and roll it. And you might think this is really heavy. It's not. Look, it's all by itself. The other composting method that we use is this one here, which is your $40 one from Bunnings as well. So you have to manually get a pitchfork in there and turn it to aerate it. But we have worms in here at the moment, so we're trialing compost worms and they're doing an amazing job. We haven't had to aerate the compost at all. So we've got all of our um, plants that we've pulled out from the old season, veggie scraps, tea bags, if you drink a lot of tea, chuck them in as long as they have no staples in them. Newspapers, we have to is wet them down, shred them up, pop them on top. Now if your compost does have a smell and you can get some newspapers, wet them down and put them on top. No odours. So this will take at least three months to break down until we get a good compost. But if you can see behind us, that's our very first compost, compost mix. Very black and enriched. 
This one has a lot of uh, mango tree and cow manure. Look how black that is. Usually broken. That's in three months. So, here we go. Doesn't cost much. You're doing the environment a good deal. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Hit the subscribe button to watch more of our videos. And remember, learning as we grow is always fun. Have a lovely day.